Aristocrat. Right, I think I leave them in peace. No point picking them up and throwing them off a balcony, I guess. Can I go up and over? Right, the answer is no. So I have to go through this door. Oh god, okay, and here's fucking populated. Yeah, that fucking figures. Right, we have a guard door there. We have drama going on there. Right. I do have bend time. So, I know that there's that ledge right there that you can go up on. So, boom. Bend the shit out of time. Completely miss our fucking point. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh, it gets better and better. You're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, they're talking about me somewhere. <laughs> Go jump off Galdwin's bridge. What the fuck? Uh, I better not have to censor that shit. I mean, to me, it just looks like a... A nice piece of abstract art, which should be celebrated. And that's why I saw through a door. Because, of course it is. I'll try my best not to get too distracted here. And we have a chick trying to slap someone awake over there. Get down off the fucking table. <laughs> I kind of want to get a view of this. I'm still in shadow. Go on. Do your thing. Well, this is what happens when you drink on the job, I guess. <laughs> Oh, that's awful. Did I? I fucking missed the door, son of a bitch. There was no reason to bend time. Or come through that doorway at all, now that I think about it. Alright, let's not miss this jump this time. Yeah, first time playing this, I forget just how horribly I did. But in hindsight, there's the steam room. Or there's the entrance scene down. Sweet. I was afraid I'd actually have to double back and go down that staircase over there to get to the steam room. But it looks like we can go down there. See, it's that type of shit that I don't fucking remember. I remember a guard standing at a railing, though. That's the silver room with the art dealer. I do need to get in there. Do I need a key? Is that a beanbag chair? Please, God. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty much a beanbag chair. That shit is awesome. Right, we have the two have a moment or there. Well, or there, but that's okay. I feel like I'm being too cautious with this uh, Ben Time shit, but... Better safe than sorry. This Ben Time shit also really lasts longer than I expected it to. Right, get this guy, because I did not factor him into my plans. And yeah, this is quite the nice room. Can anybody guess what's coming next? Actually, I will save it just in case this automatically gets rid of the Pendletons. Because I want to get it. If people remember my Grandmaster plan and go get the safe combination out of him, then rob his house myself, which will in turn betray Slackjaw. And. I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, honey? <gasps> you bastard! This time, understand? Slowly, and only trigger the shock at my command. Get it? And the safe word tonight will be retribution, let's say. You hear that, you stop. One shock out of line, and you are out of a job. I'll have you know that this coat is farm-fitting. 
<laughs> oh god. Oh, I love this game. Oh, that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? Start with them. I've cheated them, robbed them of thousands. Yeah, somebody had to. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. And we'll go at our time, just for good measure. Retribution! Retribution! <coughs> oh, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Oh, we're not done yet, buddy. Stay focused, please. No, I can't question him just yet. Oh well, he's got the point with this. We're done, I said. Retribution! Now let me out! That's not how this works. This character is busy. I'll have you whipped, you bitch! You ain't had anyone with, boy. What the? Who is this? What do you want? <laughs> oh, good. I'll take the combination for a safe. The safe? Yes, of course. The combination is one, three, eight. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. Yeah. Art dealer bunting, right? So this actually was bunting. And if I was in ruthless mood, I could just throw that lever one more time and kill him. And you know what? I've killed enough people, so... I feel no problem with doing this. You know what? You survived that one? My heart won't take this. Ask me anything. I screwed the Pendletons, yes. And I've been to the Brimsleys. They worship the outsider. I've seen it. I did it too. <laughs> Information won't save you now, old man. And we're done here. Look, I've killed enough people. At this stage, holding back is probably not worth it. Unless I leave literally a mountain of corpses behind. I don't think it's going to affect the outcome too bad. But I killed, what, four fucking guards? And then I pretty much killed that guy for shits and giggles? I didn't really look. It's in terms of let's plays, it makes a bit more of an interesting time if every once in a while I go ahead and do shit like that because it's a little better and kind of shows off more things in the game. And when I say a little better, of course, I mean a little more interesting. Right, I'm gonna start working my way around door here. I know somebody fucking saw me while I was bending time. But we're going to ignore that. It's probably that guy. And there's my two favorite people in the game so far. Right, they heard me, but they're a little preoccupied, so they didn't even look around. Good. Let's go meet a Pendleton. I've already w met one, I didn't like it. And good, there's guards here. Ha! Huh. I have no non-lethal way to take them out. Alright, fuck it, turned into a blood bat house. Morgan will be in there all night. More coin for us. Though we'd make even more if they didn't blow it on prostitutes. My cousin's a foreman at their mine. He says the slaves have dug half a mile down, so deep they're dying by the dozen from collapse or fumes, with the silvers almost gone. What are they going to do? Looks like they're gonna gamble and drink every night till it's gone, then jump in the river. <sighs> that was merciful. I half expected them to come straight up the fucking stairs. 25 came for my trouble. Alright, this might be doable non lethally If I stop walking out and open like a damned fucking fool. Oh my god. Hey, where are you? Stay at your pool. You're talking to an unconscious man. And you're now joining him. 
Extra 25 gold. God damn, these guys do get paid well. <laughs> I love the fucking physics of the bodies in this game. Oh, beautiful. Right. Let's go do what we came here to do. Steam room. The pressure valve has stopped working properly. This is the second time you will not get a third chance to you are stand. Repair promptly or you're out because I won't risk another accident. Our clients are among the most important men in the city. And that was from Prudence, who is now face down in her own fucking office. But not in the month of timber. Is that true? How on earth do you know that? Did you think I was born a courtesan, Lord Pendleton? I was a clerk to Lord Estermont. Before. Whatever happened to old Estermont? The rats did. An old sewer line led under his office in Parliament, and one day it flooded, and they all came rushing out. They say the other lords barricaded him in to save themselves. The screams lasted hours. He begged and called them by name, but they let him die. He has money. That's all I'm interested in. Well, first I'm going to loot that. Crank wheel. Which obviously goes there. And that can only lead to fun times. Let's do it! Yep. Yeah, well, fuck that up, alright. I'm not a good assassin. <laughs> of course there was a game clip recorded. Right, can I get in there to rob his corpse? An unfortunate accent. Indeed it was. They'll never know I was here. Except for the dead guards. Yeah, that's quite a nice tattoo, actually. Yeah, it's a piece she's dead, really. Or you. Whoa, a pouch with a hundred kinds, eh? And he was carrying another hundred. This is actually probably one of the nicer rooms in this dump. If you took out the pipes, you know, it'd be pretty nice. I'm gonna come here after I've restored Emily to the throne. Well, it's you know, official business to make sure the pipes are running smoothly and everything like that again, yep. That was a good save. Nothing happening in here, just going throughout dark vision to make sure I'm not missing anything. There's slaughter fish in that there pool. Which I could possess if I had an inclination to, which I don't. I don't really see a pint. They're not slaughter fish. They're fucking ugly, though. Right, how the hell am I going to get back up onto that ledge? Because that is directly above this here door. But there is a little gap. No idea where it leads. <laughs> Almost somewhere fucking terrible. Oh, come on. Come on, man. There we go. I really hope they didn't see me. Oh, my God. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, I do not check my surroundings adequately. Oh, I don't know. You know what? Let's just drop you there, buddy. You'll wake up in a better place than I took you from. Throw him over here as well. You know what the sad thing is? I just realized I broke up another budding romance. That guy was sure that girl was sweet on, and you know what? I want to believe in my heart and soul that she really was. She was brought here on the slave ships the heart talked about, and after several hard months Working this shithole, getting her heart broken every day. She finally met a good upstanding guard that she started to really, really like. And, you know, he was starting to grow more fond of her. It was a romance in the making. Again, a little something like the Lusty Argonian maid for anybody who's ever read the damn thing. And then all of a sudden... 
he uh he stopped showing up alongside a few of his friends and two of the most important men in the city end up dead actually three if you count bunting I feel zero remorse about killing him. And that was the word I was reaching for down there. I paused for like, what, 40 seconds? Trying to think of what I was feeling nothing of. And it turns out it's remorse. None of it. Right, we have douche one there. Douche two, three, four, fucking five, right. I may have to reevaluate my plan. Alright, that's where Bunting was. That is a balcony. Mm. Hold on, what is in the ivory room? He's over there. He is here. I don't feel comfortable taking that takedown. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Probably one of my better chances. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Up and over, up and over, come on. Shit, man. And let's just drop him down here. I feel like this is a pretty safe place to start bringing all of these guys. And of course, one of the bodies ain't in there anymore. Alright! I was too busy looking at the fish. He's dead now? <laughs> really? Oh god! <laughs> it was a fucking slaughterfish! <laughs> It nibbled his wrist and his legs exploded. Oh, what more would you ever want to see in the game? Right, that was ridiculous on every level, really. Okay, hopefully he comes over here and I'll just take him the exact same way. Because if I... I'm true to farm and managed to somehow fuck things up here. I don't want people running in behind me. Fuck. Right, he's sticking to main floor. No longer my concern. What I'm looking for in here is a way outside. And that looks like it right there. Good. We have him there who could be a problem. I hit the microphone again. That's quite a nice painting. Pretty sure that's a hookah pipe. Huh. And quite a nice view. Again? No, I'm not going to say it's not a bad room. I just do not want that on record. I think the bat house was an actual... Or the bat room where I killed the ur dude. Was actually... Fuck, 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 fuck. Alright. What am I going to do about him? Uh, not a whole lot. Alright, this is not the ghost run I was hoping for. I'm trying to do this all stealthy and shit. And leave behind legacy. But this fucking stage. It's going to be quite the half-assed legacy, man. It's just fucking Carvo was sighted all over the goddamn place. Several people are now dead. Because he came underprepared. There's a slaughterfish down there. Nah, oh, if I had more sleeping darts. No, this will have happened. Although, no, but I tell a lie. The first one would most certainly have happened. Because I forgot the fucking routine. And ended up just fucking letting a dude walk out the door and straight into me. How was I seen again? <laughs> I was dumping a body off the side of the fucking building. I still managed to get seen. Oh god, no. Ah, good. 